Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because you guys requested it, I bring you guys a more detailed look at the behind the scenes on how I create these epic live wallpapers. Specifically, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks that you can use to help take your wallpaper creations to the next level. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Follow me on Instagram and let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So, I'm going to share with you some advanced level tips that you can try out to take your wallpaper creations to a whole nother level. All done through the use of layers. This is going to be a detailed follow up to my video on how you can make your own 3D live wallpapers. So make sure you check it out for the basics on creating layers and adding your own animations. The link for this is going to be in the top right corner for you guys. So jumping right into it, for this tutorial, I'll be focusing primarily on the app Kime Master. This is what we'll be using to pull all of our different layers and elements of our wallpaper together. But alternatively, you can achieve a similar result using the app Power Director. So the first thing we want to do is decide what our wallpaper is going to look like. Not just aesthetically, but also logistically. Thinking about which parts you'll animate and how you would separate them into layers. Personally, with my wallpapers, I like to keep to two or three main layers. The background, foreground and subject. Counting anything in between as secondary layers. For this example, we'll be looking at the Cyberpunk 2077 live wallpaper. To achieve this look, I first took the original image and followed the steps that I've outlined in my 3D layering video. Adding a new foreground and background. And once loaded into Kime Master, this is what it looks like. As you can see, you want to make sure that each layer has its own video track and they all start and finish at the same time. Now as a side note, you want to keep in mind that if you want a perfect looping wallpaper, you need to make sure that however your layers look at the start is exactly how they look at the end of this timeline. So now that our basic wallpapers are loaded into Kime Master, let's start adding some animations. For this, we have a few different options. We can add animations directly from within Kai Master by simply selecting an item and using the built-in animation options, allowing us to add incoming, outgoing or even continuous effects. Or alternatively, you can take each of your individual layers and animate them using a third-party app. Personally, my go-to app of choice for this is StoryZ. But for those of you looking for alternatives and even a quick guide on how to use them, make sure you check out the video in the top right corner, where I've put together a list of the best animation apps available from the Play Store. Now, a good thing to keep in mind when using other apps to animate your layers is the concept of chroma keying, also known as green screen. So the key to this is to use a color that isn't present in your layer, such as here, I'm using the color red. So once you've finished adding your animation, you simply want to load it back into Kime Master and replace the older still image version. And don't forget to use the chroma key function to make everything that we colored, in this case red, transparent. Now something that I like to do is have a controlled fade on some of my animations, giving the illusion that the effect is turning on and off. Perfect for items that need to glow or even change color. To achieve this look, you simply need two layers of the same image. One layer with the effect or animation and the second underlying layer with the original still image. Now you simply want to split the effect layer into smaller sections and add a fade effect onto both ends of the clip. Now just make sure to equally space each of the clips out and there you have it. You can use this technique for color changes, starting and stopping animation and even making items glow. Talking of glowing items, let's have a look at this billboard backdrop. For this, you first want to cut out each section using an image manipulation app. Personally, I use Pixar. Next, just simply load it into Kime Master and reposition it so it's perfectly overlapping the original image. So now just simply play around with its contrast and brightness levels or even apply some filters. So once you're happy, just follow the steps as before to apply a fade effect to finish it off. And remember, the order in which you arrange the layers is very important. So make sure you use the options available here to control which ones are in front 
and which ones are behind. By using the features buried within Kai Master, you can make some really cool stuff. And with just using what we've covered in this video alone, you should be able to create some very interesting looping wallpapers. Just make sure you take your time and play around with some of the options. And as a quick note, in the comment section below, I'm going to add links for a few apps that you can use to set your newly created wallpapers as your phone's background. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.